dear students in this video we are going to discuss about pointers and arrays you know about arrays so arrays, arrays are the collection of data if you are using only one variable it is enough to use a single variable like int x but if you are going to use a list of elements under one name you have to go for arrays see here this is a uh, example here the value value of 0 1 2 so this it consists of 5 10 and 15 so the array name is value val array name is val and the size of the array is 3 starting from 0 1 2 similarly you can assign a pointer for this array you can assign pointer for this array so like value of 0 automatically here pointer also indicates the value so pointer of 0 pointer of 1 pointer of 2 okay so for this we have to write the coding for this you have to write the coding see I repeat value of 0 consists of the value 5 value of 1 10 value of 2 15 similarly the first pointer that means first address 5 the address is incremented it consists of 10 again the address is incremented consists of 15 so the pointer takes address of the first element pointer takes address of the first element after that the pointer is incremented again and again so in this case you are going to use pointers separately arrays separately pointers separately arrays separately in your program you are going to use pointer declaration at the same time array declaration so that type of program is coming under the concept pointers and arrays see here this is a simple uh, statement int val of 3 so now I am declaring that I am going to use I am declaring the array here int value of 3 so here value is array name the size of the array is 3 starting from 0 1 2 so the value consist of the first address for example 0 cross 155 0 cross 156 0 cross 157 so the value val consists of address of first element in that array so it consists of first element address so whenever you are using the pointer we, we need the address that is very important again I am going to declare the pointer so in you know the syntax to declare the pointer data type D reference operator pointer variable so int integer D reference operator PTR so I am declaring pointer separately and array separately okay then PTR is equal to val we know that already I told you that the value consists of address of the first array element value consists of address of the first element so PTR I am assuming address of first element so address of first element so I have given here address of first element so PTR is the address of first element you can use like this otherwise you can use this syntax both the syntaxes are same PTR is equal to address of value of 0 the first element address is assigned to PTR so these are the things you have to do in your program while you are using pointers and arrays see the simple program void means you have to use preprocessor directives here hash include IO stream using namespace standard then you have to start your main program 
void main. So now I'm going to use pointers arrays separately. So int array, I don't know the size. If you know, you can use it here. So actually the array size is four. If you want, you can use it. Otherwise you can give empty bracket. So int array of four is equal to seven, eight, 78, 45, 12, 89. So the size of the array is four starting from zero to three. The positions zero, one, two, three. And the address, you can give any address. See here, array of 0 consists of 78, array of 1 consists of 45, array of 2 consists of 12, array of 3 consists of 89. For example, I have given uh, some address. So this is the address for the first element, second, third and fourth. Now, I am going to uh, declare the pointer. I am going to declare the pointer that I am I am going to tell the compiler that this program consists of pointer. So int star ptr same similar to the previous case previous program st D reference operator ptr here ptr is equal to array that means I already explained this is a pointer variable pointer variable nothing but address so which address i need i need address of the first element i need the address of the first element so atr is equal to arr what is this array name consist of see here array name consist of first element address so the address i need address here so ptr is equal to array name because array name consist of address of the first element so ptr is equal to arr otherwise i can give ptr is equal to address of array address of array like this i can give that's all so these are the declaration part these are the declaration part whenever you are using pointer array you have to do these two steps whenever you using a pointer it requires these two steps whenever you are using array you want to do this one so arrays and pointers these steps are very important that's all. Now I am going to display this. I am going to just print. So for int a is equal, whenever you are using array, you know that you have to use for loop to get the input or to print the output. So here also you have to use for loop to print the values. So for int is a is equal to 0, a less than 4, a plus plus. Just I am using one more variable to uh, continue the operation, to continue. Uh, the loop C out uh, D reference operator PTR no need to give A here because it is not an array pointer is not array I am using array separately pointer separately so in this case no need to use this one it's not necessary okay just you have to give star PTR so A is equal to 0 star PTR so what it will do already PTR is equal to it is the address of first array element. So what is address? 0 cross 155. So from this place it takes the value. See here PTR nothing but it is a first element. This first address. The first address. So from the first address it takes the value. So, from this address, it takes the value. A D reference nothing but value from this address. So, take the first address, first value. Then, after that, I have to increment this. I want to increment this pointer. That means I am moving to second, next address. So, 155, I need 156. For that, I am incrementing plus 1. So, PTR plus plus. That's all. So, first a is equal to 0, it prints the first one. Again, a is incremented by 1, like that up to 4, less than 4, up to 3 it will be operator. But the pointer is incremented by this increment operator. The a is not to increment this address. So, this is to increment the address. Okay. So, you can get the output like this. 78, 45, 12, 89, you can get the output. Okay, so you can able to understand this concept.